Nurse Rosie Products is proud to introduce Rosie Scan, our affordable, accurate bladder scanner. Rosie Scan is an easy to use mobile touchscreen unit that is non invasive and quickly delivers accurate calculations of the bladder volume of your patients. Rosie Scan comes equipped with color LED touchscreen, an onboard printer, rugged rolling stand, USB output and storage, and rechargeable battery. It can store up to 100 cases with patient ID, continuously run for four hours giving you 100 scans, and can display up to 24 images. Rosie Scan comes with a two-year warranty and supported by Nurse Rosie Products technical support team. It is now time for you to get to know Rosie Scan. We will be demonstrating how to operate Rosie Scan with the use of a phantom bladder. You can also purchase a phantom bladder from Nurse Rosie for training purposes at your facility. There are a couple of easy but important steps we must take before turning on Rosie Scan. First, make sure that you properly inserted the battery. Pull the plastic latch back completely and slowly insert the battery inside the slot. Make sure that you hold the plastic latch while inserting and removing the battery. Once the battery is secure, flip the unit back over to attach the probe. You will see a red dot on the main unit port and on the plug at the end of the probe cord. Align the two red dots and then plug the probe into the main unit. It is important to not scratch the surface of the probe. This will result in inaccurate readings. Only the probe supplied by the original manufacturer may be used with this device. To add paper to the onboard printer, open the printer door by lifting the latch. Put the paper into the paper box with the roll facing the top of the device. Pull out the paper so that it is exposed when you close the door. Next, secure the device tightly to the accessory tray attached to the rolling cart. To turn on the device, press the power key. The device will automatically check the battery level, printer, probe connection, memory capacity, and screen. If Disconnect is displayed instead of OK, check to make sure you have installed the item properly. Self-check will display OK once the connection is corrected. If Disconnect still is displayed, contact Nurse Rosie Products Tech Support. At the bottom right corner of the Power On screen, there will be two functional keys, Continue and Power. The Continue functional key displays when self-checking fails, so touch the Continue key or press the right directional key in the navigation keys on the control panel to enter Ready screen of system. On the top of the Ready screen, you will see a status bar. The icons below may change depending on the device's self-check results. You will find two sets of navigation keys, one set on the Ready screen called Functional Keys and one set on the control panel called Directional Keys. Press the right directional key or touch new functional key on the ready screen to delete the max tested volume without switching off the device. Press the left directional key on the left or touch the browse functional key to browse previously saved readings. Press the up directional key or touch to the gender functional key to select gender. Select the male icon for male, the female icon for female, and the baby icon for pediatric. Pediatric mode is only effective to measure volumes that are less than 100 ml. Press the OK button on the control panel or touch the menu functional key to enter the system reset screen. You can touch the screen to select features you need to change or use the directional keys on the control panel. For example, touch scan images to choose between scanning 12 or 24 images. You must click on Save Exit in order to save your changes and go to the pre-scan screen. You are now ready to scan. Press the Scan key on the control panel to enter the pre-scan screen. Place the probe on the phantom bladder to see a real-time image on the pre-scan screen. Make sure when working on a patient, the probe is correctly placed and feet on the probe are oriented towards the patient's feet and the face is oriented to the patient's head. The straight red line indicates the center of the area being scanned. The dark area represents urine and must cross over this central line in every scan. When you are ready to scan, press the scan key on the control panel or the smiling face button on the probe to scan the bladder. Do not disturb the device during scanning. The scan time could take up to 10 seconds for a 12 image scan and up to 20 seconds for 24 images. The scanning progress will be displayed during the course of a scan. 
1 slash 12 means it is scanning the first of 12 images. It will then enter calculating screen after the scan is complete. Calculating 12 means it is scanning the 12th image. The scan results screen displays the results of the scan. Press right directional key or touch the return functional key to return to the ready screen. Press left directional key or touch the save edit functional key to enter the save edit screen. Press the up directional key or touch the next functional key to toggle between the scanned images. Press the down directional key or touch the switch functional key to switch between grayscale and two color images. Press the printer key on the control panel to print the current images. Press the scan key to return to the pre-scan screen. Then scan by pressing the scan key again. Press the left directional key or touch the Save Edit functional key to enter Save Edit screen from the scanned results screen. You can use the touch screen or the keys to enter the patient's ID. Press the print key or print touch key to save and return to the ready screen. Or press the scan key to delete the saved information and return to the ready screen. Note. Patient ID may be up to 12 characters. Gender does not need to be input. Gender is set in the ready screen. Each patient ID is unique and specific to one individual. The same patient ID cannot be used for multiple patients. To browse historical records, press the left directional key or touch the browse functional key to enter the browse historical records screen. The screen will display the patient's ID, sex, and measured volume record. The images from past scans will be displayed on the right under the patient ID. There will be six images displayed per screen. For example, if 1 slash 3 is displayed, 1 means this is one of three total records that have been stored. Press the printer key to print the current record being displayed. Press the up directional key or touch the up functional key to display the previous record. Press the down directional key or touch the down functional key to display next record. Press the left directional key or touch next functional key to display the next six images. Press the right directional key or touch the return functional key to return to the ready screen. Press the OK key or touch the delete functional key to delete the current record. Scanned results can be printed immediately after performing a scan or recalled from the device's memory if they were saved. User may select how many images to print on the print page and hit the print button to print. You may export the historical data saved in the system to your PC using a USB connection. The system will also build a folder for each user. The same info in the folder should correspond with the patient's ID. Only grayscale images and a copy of saved readings will be saved in each folder. To charge the battery, put the battery into the charger and ensure it is placed properly. The connection between battery plug and the socket of the charger must be correct. Connect the charger with power supply before charging the battery. The amber light will turn on when the battery begins charging. The green light will turn on after the battery is fully charged. It is suggested to charge the battery for at least two hours. Disconnect the power between power supply and charger before removing the battery. It is important to never leave the charger unsupervised while the battery is charging. Do not place the battery, adapter, or charger near fire, heat, flammable, and explosive materials. Thank you for allowing Nurse Rosie to assist you today on how to use Rosie Scan. For further questions, feel free to contact us, and we appreciate your business.